Hi, welcome back to another fast and simple development video. And today we're going to talk about SFTP. So Secure File Transfer Protocol. SFTP is used to transfer files from system to system. A lot of times you're transferring an individual file. Sometimes you're transferring a zip archive. Today we're going to talk about using SFTP from the command line. So I'm going to open up a command terminal here on my Mac. And I have a directory, user tjy desktop test. And I can use the ls command to see what files are here. The ls command, there's nothing in here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a file. I'm going to use the vi editor to create this. And I'm going to call it test.html. Okay. And so I'm actually going ahead and going to create a HTML file in here. So we'll have our HTML tags. I'll create a head. I'll give it a title. I'm going to call this test page. And of course, we need a body in here. Notice by practice, I always create the start tag and the end tag. If you're using an IDE, it probably is going to do that for you. I'll create an H1. And in this H1, I'm just going to say test page. Okay, this is our test file that we've just created. So now if I use the ls command, I can see the file. If I do an ls-l, it'll tell me the details about it, specifically the size of the file and who created it. And to find out what directory I'm in, I can use the pwd command, present working directory. Okay, so I see this file is here, and it's called test.html, and I want to copy that to our server. And I want to use the s FTP command. So I'm going to transfer it to my EC2 server and I'm using AWS Linux and I have a user of EC2. I'm going to specify the user and the IP address 3.84.239 dot 80 and then we're going to connect up to the server so once i'm connected to the server i can run the ls command again but this time it's actually on the server it's not on my local machine so i can go into the directory in this case i have a server directory and in the server directory i have a thomas j consulting folder i'm going to change into that I can do an ls every time I change. And I can see I have a public folder. And in that public folder, I have various HTML files. So since I'm in the SFTP utility, I'm going to actually just do a put to send this file up there. I'm going to do a put test.html. And it's going to upload that file. To verify that file was uploaded, I can actually go to the web server and verify it's there. Or I can just do an ls. And if I can do an lsl on the server, I can see this is on the remote server and that I have my test files that was just uploaded. So let's go ahead and act, also open up a web page. On this web page, we'll go to Thomas J. Consulting. And we'll open up test.html. And we see our test page there. Great. So we've used SFTP to transfer it from a local machine to the server. Now I can open up another window. I can actually SSH onto the server and I can make a change to that file to verify that I can pull it down. And let's do that. So I'm going to connect up to this.
I'm now on that server and I'm going to go into the server directory just like before. I can go into the Thomas J consulting directory and I can see I have public in here and in this public I have the test HTML. I'm actually going to go in here and change this. I'm going to say updated and I'll save that file. So I can use a cat command to actually see what is in that file. And I can see that this is updated. So let's go back to our HTML page. And let's refresh this. And we'll see we can see the word updated in here. So let's exit our terminal now. Let's go back to our SFTP. And we can see the files are there. We can use the ls-lt and what we can do is we can download the file. So I'm going to use the get command to pull that down. I can say get test.html or I can actually do a mget and simply say test asterisk. So with the m being multiple, I can use wildcards. And in this case, there is only one file. Now I've downloaded that file. I can exit the SFTP. I can look at our file here and I can see that it was just changed. The current time is 1311 and that's the file. And if I look at the file here now, I'm going to use a cat utility to catalog it out. I can see it's updated. So there we are. We have some simple command line for the SFTP. In addition, we'll notice that when I use the SFTP command, I just typed in the EC2 user. There's also an option if you're working with services such as Amazon AWS, that they may want a PIM file. In this case, I have in my home directory a tjc.pim, and that could be connected in here. Now, I didn't have to add that in here, although it's required, because I actually have that already in a command, and I call it yak, not for any particular reason. And in my yak command, I actually use the ssh add command to add it in there. And that actually adds it in there automatically, so I don't have to type in the dash i for ssh commands and sftp commands. In addition, in my bin directory, to make things simpler, I have my TJ Consulting SFTP a script, so I can just type that in. So to connect up to this machine, I can just type in TJ Consulting SFTP, and it quickly connects up. In addition, I can also type in TJC SSH, which is a script I've also created and that SS, SSHs me into that, and that script looks similar to the SFTP, but simply contains the SSH command. So there you are, some simple commands. Please take a look at my other YouTube. Take a look at my Udemy classes. Follow me on medium.com, and I invite you to subscribe. Thank you very much. Please leave comments if you have questions or want to see other types of videos. Thank you for watching a fast and simple development video.